My name is Javed Mohammad. I'm a professional philatelist and I'm happy to talk about this exhibit and uh, which is shown as an NYT class in uh, EPAX 2024 stamp exhibition in Dubai. So this exhibit is talking about the Dubai postal history uh, from 1909 to 1948. So first question raised why there was a need of a post office in Dubai because there were merchants who were having a corresponding from Dubai to Bombay or Karachi and there was a need to have the post office in uh, Dubai. But as the population was not that, you know, a number of people were living here. So eventually it reached to the con uh, position uh, stage that they need a post office to communicate. Okay, here, uh, here is the first cover, which is a pre post office mail. So how they were communicating, they were sending a, a post, uh, what they call it, covers or their mail through the uh, local boards. So this is one of the example where the sender has sent from Dubai to Bahrain by hand delivery and it was carried with the uh, traditional boards. So in uh, 19 uh, of August 1909, the post office, uh, British Indian post office branch was opened in Dubai. So here we see the Dubai BO. So BO is the stand for uh, branch post office. So British Indian, uh, they open an office in Dubai, uh, British Indian post office. And we see the first series of the postal cancellation is a BO. And then we move on to the uh, later stage when in 1924, the Bison Mail, British Indian Steam Navigation Company, they started their services. So they were carrying some uh, mail from uh, Dubai to Karachi to Bombay. So sometime it was goes via Karachi and uh, even sometime there was a no cancellation in Dubai. So they were canceling those can uh, uh, mail box, uh, mail bags were open in Karachi and they were canceled in Karachi. So here we'll see uh, so many Karachi cancellation on a mail originated from Dubai. So they were giving air to the post office, they were without sealing it in uh, Dubai, they were sending it to uh, uh, India via Karachi. In Karachi, they were opening a bag and they were just cancellation, doing a cancellation. So before 1932, all the mails were going through the surface mail because there was no post, uh, no uh, airport in, in the region. So in 1932, there was a first, uh, Air mail service started from Sharjah. So here is a cover. So the Imperial Airways route to India changed to the Arabian side of the Gulf in October 1932 to stop via Sharjah. Since Sharjah did not have its own post office, mail was instead handled by the Dubai post office. So Dubai was having a post office, but there was no uh, airport. And Sharjah was not having a post office, and but they were having an airport. So this period shows the, those covers. Then we reach to the postmark was changed. So earlier postmark, we have noticed it's a single circle uh, postmark. So here is a type two postmark was introduced uh, in 1942, the earliest recorded. Later on, uh, there was a requirement to upgrade the post office because it was a br branch post office. In 1942, if I'm not wrong, the post, was, post office was upgraded to the uh, branch post office in 1942. Then we have seen uh, more updated postal services. So before that period, there was a normal mail. There was no even a single register mail because there was a no proper upgraded post office. So we'll move on. Then we start seeing register letters, because now it's upgraded post office, so there is a register mail started. Then we have an express mail started. So these are all the services which upgraded post office was providing. And I want to highlight some of the covers here, which was originated from the other side of the sea, which is a uh, Iranian side of the sea, Bandar Abbas, Lal. Uh, in fact, there are some covers which were originated from Shiraz as well. The reason from Dubai to Bombay or Dubai to Karachi, there was a local mail because 
it was under the British Indian Postal Administration. The uh, merchant, they were selling their, sending their postal mail through the boat. They will pay a small amount of money to the boat guy to bring the mail to Dubai and post it, posted it from here to save the cost. Because if they will post it from uh, uh, Iran, it will be an international mail. Then we see the post World War era. You have there is some mail. Even they have the parcel mails. So upgrade. They, these are the beauty of the upgraded post office. Okay, here we got the cover, which is the last day of use of uh, British Indian Postal Administration uh, from Dubai. In 1947, after the partition partition of uh, India and Pakistan, as the Dubai post office was controlled from Karachi and Karachi came under Pakistan. So after the separation, Dubai post office was handled from Karachi. In the beginning era of the partition, they have used the same stamps of the British India. Later on, they have started our printing Pakistan. So here are the example of the covers, which is our printed of Pakistan. Even now they have the Pakistan our printed stamps. Still they were using Indian, British Indian stamps without our print and with our print. So these are the, those examples. And here is an example where there was a Pakistan our print and British Indian stamps, but British Indian stamp was not accepted by the post office and they crossed it. So many, and they put a postage due on that, that the gentleman has to pay postage due. So here are the last example, and this is the latest recorded cover from Dubai, used under Pakistan Postal Administration. So here the exhibit ends from 1909 to 1948. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this uh, exhibit. And if you got a chance in any international exhibition, have a look on this exhibit. Thank you.